So government officials should not be celebrating the new income they're going to get. Cabinet today decided that they will somehow get a minimum income of 15,000 baht per month if you graduate with a bachelor's degree and working. Yes, um, as of now, we're still trying to take a look at the, the cabinet resolution today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have received a lot of questions yeah. concerning the cabinet resolution. Yes. And also, we, you just see our finance editor barking questions at <laughs> our reporters <laughs> because everyone is so confused about what uh -huh. has been announced today. Uh -huh. Well, uh, it's not, uh, first of all, it's not uh, the government deciding to increase the starting salary of newly no. graduate people. No. no. Mm. It's an increase in the so-called cost of living allowance. Okay. So yeah. that anyone who has been receiving less than mm. 15,000 baht uh, per month will get additional Meaning uh, if the allowance. total income, if your total income yes. is less than 15,000 baht, somehow the government will give you a special cost of living allowance to make sure that totally you earn more than 15, or at least 15,000 15, I mean, if you I have mean, a bachelor's yes. degree, if you work for government officials. Exactly. Um, what about if I am earning 15,200 baht at the moment? Well, there's some uh, announcement about uh, a slight increase in your allowance, 5% of what you have been receiving. 5% of my current allowance. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. When is that going to happen to um, me? I'm going to have to go back to tell my wife and children. <laughs> Well, um, the uh, the deadline is January first again, like the other ah, major okay. policies of uh -huh. this government, uh -huh. and uh, this involves the uh, the change in the ministerial reg uh, regulations mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the finance ministry. Mm -hmm. It uh, still has nothing to do with uh, mm -hmm. adopting a new legislation mm -hmm. as yet. Mm -hmm. It will cost the government about uh, eighteen billion baht next year. That's only the special allowance? Yes. Uh, if uh, uh, the government want to continue this the same policy uh, over to the following year, it will, get, uh, it will have to spend another 24 billion baht. So this is it, meaning that this is going to be all that the Pur Thai Party promised in the election? When they said no. that mm -hmm. if you graduate with a bachelor's degree and you're, you're working, then you get a minimum I don't know, income or salary, whatever. That has been amended a little bit. Okay. This is not starting salary no. anymore. Okay. It's what you get as an income. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else, uh, mm -hmm. allowance, mm -hmm. something else, you mm -hmm. will get uh, 15,000 baht mm -hmm. per month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the starting salary policy, maybe next year, no, mm -hmm. not at all. They, uh -huh. they, uh, this government uh, today decided that this, uh, this is it. What, what is decided today will take effect uh, for the whole of next year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, also, this, um, the, the government, uh, the cabinet today asked the uh, Civil Service Commission to, to look into the possibility of making 15,000 baht the real starting salary of a study. Uh, a study. A, a study. Okay. That will take about four years or so. Okay, <laughs> so that, that means the next election, mm -hmm. uh, we will see how the uh, election promise will be uh, raised again or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also the same, uh, a similar decision was made concerning the minimum wage today also. Um, same, same kind of a special uh, allowance? No, um, the government said that, okay, the 300 baht minimum wage mm -hmm. will be implemented next uh, January mm -hmm. and also uh, only in Bangkok and six other provinces. And only for government uh, people or no, also no, this for, is, this is private, for the private sector? Private sector and this, well. is, uh, this is also a very uh, controversial policy because the labor movement, they want a blanket mm -hmm. across the board increase in the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. But the government today decided that it would take effect only in Bangkok and the other provinces. But when you talk about minimum wage, it's not the government's authority. No, it's, it's, it's it is a three, sector. You know, it's a three protite uh, committee that yes. is still legally in existence and mm -hmm. they decide yes. because they comprise employers, representatives, employee representatives and government representatives. Yes. Now, is the government going to ask the tripartite party to decide or is the government saying, you do it? Well, actually, it's, it's easy this time if the government has the guts to do it mm -hmm. because uh, normally it, um, the decision in the tripartite committee was made 
through the vote. And right. every time the, the government and, and the mm -hmm. labor sector always side uh, on the same side. Yeah. They are, were on the same side. But this time, the, mm -hmm. uh, the government and the labor movement had to be, has to be on the same side mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. uh, to allow the government pledge mm -hmm. uh, during the election campaign to, mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. So if you're still confused about <laughs> the 1,500 baht salary income or the 300 baht minimum wage, you're not alone. I'm sure a lot of people are still asking questions, and the government will have to explain if they are clear about this right, themselves. Because, uh, apparently, the um, the word starting salary is no longer there. Okay. So it's, it's all mm -hmm. uh, about uh, cost mm -hmm. of living allowance now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you work for the government, go ask your boss. Mm -hmm. If you work for the private sector, go and ask your supervisor what's going to happen to your income starting next year. 